for Libra. Welcome to your weekly reading. In this reading, we're going to cover past, current, and near future energies, as well as any energies that the universe would like for you to keep in mind for this week. Please keep in mind that these are general readings and they may not resonate for everybody. If they do resonate with you, please do me a huge favor and give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, and hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out with creating content for you guys consistently. So, with that being said, let's get started and take a look at your weekly energies, Libra. Libra's energies for this week. Libra's energies for this week. dealing with this week is the tower. There's going to be something that might, you know, destabilize you a little bit, something a little ground breaking, earth shattering. Um, <clears throat> this is a, a bit of a destabilizing energy. Um, and so it could be that or it could be an internal realization that's just coming out of nowhere. We'll understand more once we clarify. In your recent past, you get the Six of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Four of Pentacles. There is a soul connection here that you're dealing with and you are bringing in a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety when it comes to this soul connection. Um, I also see a sense of like holding on to it, um, refusing to let it go. Um, it could be that you're refusing to let the connection go, or it could be that for some reason you're refusing to let these fears and this anxiety go when it comes to this connection. We'll know more once we clarify. In your current situation, you get the Strength, the King of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. You are going through an energy that is not very easy for you to deal with. With the King of Swords, I see you coming in as very confident, very much like, I know that this is what I need to do, I have a clear plan, like this is how I need to approach it. And then I also see you kind of abandoning this energy almost. Um, either way, you're going through energies which are requiring strength, which means they're not very, <clears throat> excuse me, they're not very easy energies to deal with. We'll understand more once we clarify. In your near future, you're getting the Four of Swords, the Three of Wands, the King of Cups. There is a person here that you have a lot of love for. Uh, it could be a water sign, doesn't have to be, but there is one specific person that you have a lot of love for, a lot of emotions for, and through this, you're, there's a lot of healing that you're also going to be experiencing. I also see a lot of waiting, though. So that's telling you that despite the fact that you do have all these emotions and you are going to be experiencing a period of healing. There's waiting. There's no action being taken here. This could be you. This could be your person. We'll know more once we clarify. So with that being said, let's start clarifying the um, Six of Cups. The Six of Cups in your recent past. Six of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, there's definitely an ending here or a sense of an ending. You feel defeated. You feel like this connection, this um, soul connection has come to an end. It's over. It's done. And I see you juggling this energy between it's done, and it's, it's over, there's nothing for me to do, and waiting. Waiting for something to happen. So either you're waiting for your own energy to kind of pick back up so that you can move in that direction so that you can do something or you're waiting for this other person and now you're, you're kind of like juggling these two energies of it's done there's nothing to do what am I doing what's the point and oh maybe maybe they'll do something maybe I'll decide that I want to do something you're kind of juggling these two energies right now uh, in your recent past let's take a look at this nine of swords in your recent past that's showing up for you what is this nine Swords of God in the recent past for Libra. The Nine of Swords is clarified by the Page of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Yeah, definitely a relationship, definitely a connection, um, something you feel very strongly about. I see you wanting to move in that direction. And I'm not saying like just charging ahead and be like, yeah, hey, you know, I love you, let's be together. 
more so kind of like baby steps. You're open to moving in that direction. You're interested. You're curious about that person. Um, you're wondering what's up with them, but there's a lot of emotional pain here going on, which is telling me that this is a breakup, that you experienced a breakup, there was a separation, something ended, and that brought about a lot of emotional pain, a lot of heartbreak for both you and this other person. Um, you're going to deal with it in your own way, they're going to deal with it in their own way, but it's definitely present, and this was definitely a very strong connection. And I see you still being curious, uh, almost, I want to say, cyber-stalking a little bit, maybe, maybe not, Libra. Hmm? Uh, to see what's up with this other person. <clears throat> but there's definitely uh, emotional pain in your recent past associated with this connection that probably came about as a result of a separation or something that ended. Let's take a look at the four of pentacles in your recent past. The four of pentacles is clarified by the nine of swords, the five of cups, the ten of cups. I can see you wanting to achieve emotional happiness, emotional fulfillment. I see you wanting to be happy. However, you are holding on to the past, and this past that you're holding on to doesn't look very pretty here. There's a lot of anxiety, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of pain that goes into this that you are experiencing. And by holding on to this past dynamic, by holding on to this past energy, you're literally inflicting like emotional pain on yourself and you don't have to be. Nine of Swords is a self-inflicted energy. This is energy that you can get out of because it's all in your head. You're doing this to yourself. And I see your desire, <clears throat> excuse me, I see your desire to be happy. I see your desire to be emotionally balanced. And then I also see you not achieving this emotional balance simply because you're all up in your head about it. Let's take a look at this strength energy in your current situation. What is the strength energy in your current situation all about? The strength is clarified by the Six of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Cups. The King of Cups is showing up again here in your recent or your near future. Um, I see you walking away from something, turning your back on something. Um, I almost see you turning your back. This could be you. This could be your other person. I'm going to put this on you. I see you turning your back on this relationship. Like, there's a lot of love here. This could have been something very long-term, uh, something very stable, a long-term commitment, whatever. I see you actively turning your back on all of that. Now, again, this could be you. This could be your person. Um... But there's definitely someone, someone is walking away from this long-term, this stability, despite the fact that there are a lot of feelings there. There's a lot of love there. Let's take a look at this King of Swords in your current situation. What is this King of Swords in the current situation for Libra? The King of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Wands, the Emperor, the Four of Pentacles. I see you having a desire to... You want to move in a certain direction. You're very curious. You want to approach the situation, this dynamic, but you're doing it in almost a very controlling manner. This Emperor and this Four of Pentacles is showing me that you're... It's almost like my way or the highway, and this is how you're coming about it. It could be that you know, this person that you're dealing with or this dynamic, you have a lot of passion for it. You're very interested in it. You're very um, attracted to it. But on the other, on the flip side of that, you're also controlling it a little bit. You're controlling the energy of like, you're either controlling yourself or you're trying to control the energy in this dynamic of like, I want it this way and this is how it's going to be and it has to be this way because I said it has to be this way and if it's not this way, then it's, it's just not, it's not going to happen. It has to happen this way because I said so, my rules, my game, my everything. Um, so this is coming in a bit of a controlling energy, not the most comfortable energy to deal with. Let's take a look at the Seven of Swords in your current situation. Seven of Swords is clarified by the Tower, the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Wands. You are going to experience a sudden realization. So I think this is what this Tower energy is. This is going to be like a sudden realization coming in for you where you're like, 
what am I doing? I need to take action. I want to communicate with this person. Like, whoever this other person is, you guys may have not been talking. There may have been, like, you know, uh, silence, radio silence between the two. You haven't been communicating. Out of nowhere, you're going to be experiencing this moment where you're like, I need, I want to communicate with this person, and you're going to be moving in that direction towards communicating with them. And again, if this isn't you, this could be your person's energy. Either way, whoever this person is, there's going to be like a sudden realization where it's like, yeah, I need to talk to this person. We need to, we need to like communicate. We need to have a conversation. And I see um, this person actually doing so, taking action in that direction, not just having that desire, but actually moving in that direction. Let's take a look at this Four of Swords in the near future. What is this Four of Swords about? The Four of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Lovers. Again, a very, very powerful connection showing up for you here. I see you wanting to open up. I see you wanting to open up to this person and show your love and really express your love. And then smack center in the middle. You're aware that this connection is very powerful. You're aware that you have these feelings and you want to express them. In the middle, it's almost like you're putting a block for yourself where you're like, nope. Forget emotions, forget feelings. I don't want to deal with those. We're going to approach this logically. You're coming across as very, very cold, very void of emotions, um, very logical, very practical, like not showing emotions, not letting your emotions take over, despite the fact that you know this is a very powerful connection, despite the fact that you have these feelings. You're showing up as very, very cold. The other person may not even be able to see that you have these feelings. They may not be aware of that, but I can see them showing up here but they may not because you're showing up on the surface as super cold, like iceberg cold. Let's take a look at this Three of Wands in your near future. <clears throat> the Three of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Page of Cups. Again, you have feelings for this person. You want a new beginning with this person when it comes to love. You want to start this relationship anew. Um, you want a brand new beginning in love, but you're all up in your head about it. You're so confused about it. You're overthinking it to the point where I don't even see you taking any action. Um, actually, no, I take that back. I do see you taking action, but very, very, very tiny baby steps. You feel lot, like a lot of emotion. You know that this connection is very, very powerful. You want this brand new beginning in love, but because you're overthinking it, because you're all up in your head about it and you're unable to make a decision, you're not able to decide how you want to approach this, you're showing up as like a very minimal. Like you feel this much, you're showing up with this much. It's like deep down, there's like so many feelings, but you're showing up as like, hey, how are you doing today? Good, good, nice, good to know, good to know. Um, like very, you're showing up like a fraction of what you actually feel. And again, this could be you, this could be your person. Let's clarify the King of Cups in your near future. King of Cups in the near future for Libra. The King of Cups is clarified by the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Hierophant. So you're showing up independent. Um, you're showing up single. So despite the fact that you want this new beginning, despite the fact that, you know, you have these feelings and all these emotions, you're still showing up single. So that's telling me either you guys haven't gotten back together or your energy is like, I'm single, I'm taking care of myself, I got me, you know, etc. Um, and there was definitely a separation here. There was definitely a breakup and these feelings of a separation and abandonment might be coming up for you again in the near future for you to deal with. Um, and so... Obviously, there was a separation, there was a breakup that caused a lot of pain in your recent past, and this, these feelings of abandonment of, oh gosh, they're going to leave me again, or what's the point, this isn't going to work out, like, we broke up, it's, there's no point in trying to put this back together, like, they're just going to abandon me again, they're going to leave me again, or I'm going to leave them again. Um, are showing up for you again for you to deal with and you're either dealing with a Taurus or you may be dealing with something a relationship that felt very very serious almost like a marriage the the, the amount of basically if you were to take a relationship it felt very serious it felt like a very big commitment it felt like you know like if, if it wasn't a marriage it sh sure felt like a marriage sure felt like you guys were in it for the long haul um 
And so these feelings of abandonment are gonna are possibly coming up for you again in the near future uh, for you to deal with. And you're gonna have the tools to deal with them. So I would highly recommend that you, you know, take a look at them. If they come up for you, take a look at what these feelings are. What are they trying to tell you? What are these fears that are showing up for you? Who caused these fears that you think everybody else is going to hurt you the same way? Let's take a look at the energies that you have coming up for you. Um, that the universe would like you to keep in mind this week. What are the energies that the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week, Libra? Wow, the Hierophant showed up again, you guys. So again, if this wasn't a marriage, it sure felt like a marriage, or you could be dealing with a Taurus. The energies that showed up for you this week that the universe would like for you to keep in mind are the Hierophant, the Seven of Wands, the Magician. It's almost like you're manifesting, you're manifesting stability, you're manifesting something long-term, a long-term commitment. Um, you're manifesting these things, and then once they show up for you, once this commitment or once, you know, whatever this is that you're manifesting shows up for you, you're resisting it. So you're almost like, universe, give me what I want, give me what I want. The universe is like, okay, here, you can have it. You're like, no, 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 wait a minute, stay back. And so it's, it's almost like a push-pull situation where you're actively manifesting something, you're calling this in, the universe is delivering it, and then you're like, no, no, stay back. You're working against yourself in this sense, uh, Libra. So that's something that the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week. These are the energies that they would like for you to... Possibly take note of. If you see this coming up, examine why this resistance is showing up for you. But that is what I have for you, Libra. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you found this reading helpful, please give the video a like, drop a comment, and hit that subscribe button. It really helps me consistently create content for you. And of course, I will see you here next week.